Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to make mystic horse effect. So for this effect I have made this very long time ago. And this is the most requested one and before that and recent time I also made that in fume effects. And a quick update on the recent tutorial which is coming out for Houdini. Still that shot is in rendering process so it will take one or two days more to render out. After that we are going to release that tutorial series so it will be long tutorial maybe around four to five tutorials so it will be completely procedural to how to make destruction effect so let's get started with this effect this is very simple effect not very complicated you can easily create this so let's just start it this is my horse which is you can download this from my site it is already there just download that it's a loop file loop it we have this here now let's create our fume fix box so let me just create this fume fix container so we just use one and i'm not using very big container this is like 100 by I think 200 is enough for this and 100 height is enough. So this will be enough for our purpose and let me just place this in a center. Let's so complete in center. So in my scenario I have placed this uh, container little bit towards the horse so let's put, put this one okay now come here and we just adjust some values so for this i'm going to use default let me just change to my cache drive then again this one also and we don't need that one and we are going to use some extra details for this so we need to have some drive space because it takes a lot of drive space so this is one and let me just create some source object source for this horse so just create here object source select this object okay and let me just adjust some values and we don't need fuel we will disable this value from simulation section and from here let me just go for 2 and we can always change this so and object velocity let me go for 2 value twice this and in simulation we just adjust some values here so I think I've used vorticity 0.3 and sub steps I think I have used 4 iterations we don't need that much 50 and details we need that and scale is 10 I think I use 10 and I'm using very low value of turbulent because it doesn't have more turbulent and that's it we are not going to simulate this fuel we are going to simulate only smoke so I think this is enough let me just save this file this is the file now we are going to just simulate this to see how it's coming so let me just enable this GPU and just see how it's coming now you can see the smoke is rising upward we don't we need smoke to be down, going downwards so for that it's a simple scenario we need to invert the gravity value your gravity vector so if we are if we are going to decrease its gravity value which is here negative one it will still not go downward so for this let me go here and add this gravity vector which is come here this gravity vector and you need to flip this one just pointing downward just flip upward like 180 degree 
now let's save this and again let me just simulate this now you can see smoke is coming okay. so this one is here and next we need to like dissipate this value so fast so that it doesn't create that much puffy smoke so let's come here to dissipation strength let me just increase to 20 and i think i used value of 1 or i think 5 we need to just check it out and we need to increase this sharpen this one it will sharpen these values and let me just lower this value some because we are simulating in very low resolution so let me just go for 0.5 value okay so it will like double this so again let me just simulate this so now you can see it has coming like this uh, it's having very high value of turbulence so I'm going to decrease this turbulence value we don't need that much turbulence so let me just go for again 20 and we don't need that much detail uh, just one is enough we want very slow please lower this so that it can simulate fast results and in smoke section let me just go for a little bit higher value like 2.5 and in simulation we just go for dissipation strength we just go for 2 so that it can dissipate more and for bottom to interact let me just block this bottom region or negative region so Z negative, let me block this Z negative, so it will affect this and you can add a little bit of wind also so that it's going slightly towards backward so let me just add wind here okay and just flip this one like this like here uh, it doesn't matter where it is, it's just simple Value just put one and one here. We don't want very strong wind, and just add this in here. Add okay. and please go for this volume type, and most probably it will come and. Further we need to uh, add some more details in here so that it has more details. So let me just go here at the bottom of this where you can find this. Uh, let me just lower this. This wavelet turbulence just enable this. So it will add this level of again turbulence. Okay. Just enable this it will add further details in these simulations. I think that's uh, enough for these settings and let me just again simulate this. Okay, now it has some details here. See, now you can see it has some details here. I just move this. Okay, you can see like it has some swirly lines. And for that, let me just increase detail value this, keeping this one. And if you want like following this smoke to be little bit faster you can increase this temperature by on see this value so it will like uh, further decrease its falling down values. and after that i think this is almost set up so let me just lower this value a little bit further and we will see how it's coming or let me simulate on this values okay this frames looks good so now we let me set up for this rendering purpose so for, for for rendering purpose just hide this horse okay, we don't need that in rendering okay. because we have simulated this for volume so it has some volumes in it okay and let me set up for simple lighting and in my final render setup i used uh, like overhead light simple overhead light and V-ray material so let me set up for this V-Ray V-Ray 
is good for like simulations in rendering. Sometimes it gives uh, faster results. Sometimes it doesn't give faster results. So we just go for here. I think there is some issue here. Okay, uh, first setup for lighting. Then we'll check if it has some issue. I think I have used simple overhead light. Here and uh, very low values, uh, like four or five. I think this one is enough. And add this in rendering section here. Oh, sorry, illumination section. Add multiple scattering on. And uh, let me just disable this GPU. So it will. And in rendering, we don't need fire. We only need smoke, and we need to just for shadows, and just apply a simple material here for the plane. So let me supply simple material, and use a little bit darker colors, and just disable this. Just add some values here, and I think 0.6 is enough. And just apply to this section, and we just zoom on this section. Okay, let's render this so that we can see how it's coming. Okay, it's almost coming, like you have seen in my final render. A uh, little bit value is to be tweaking, otherwise it's coming almost close to this. And if you want like more sharp these, you can always increase this sharpen strength. This one it will sharpen these lines, these falling lines. And for uh, opacity, I think this is enough. And you can always use this opacity map to always counter this. And if you want color, uh, you can always use color also. Uh, if you want like slightly orangish uh, in my final look here, I used like slightly orangish color, something like this. And if you want more density, you can always increase this value. And in this section, you can always adjust its value. Okay. So I'm not using this. It's just uh, like default, or you can use map also, and you can also decrease this lower threshold like 0.1 something. Okay, so I think this is enough, or uh, this is close to what I have rendered. Or if you want to render this on your any other software, whichever renders fast, you can always use that. Uh, I think it's uh, I have used very low quality settings that's why it's coming like banding you can always increase these settings and you can get quite good results so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and next tutorial will be the last in this film effects series after that we are going to jump to another software which is also very useful in industry which is thinking particle and your upcoming tutorial for Houdini destruction it will be coming in I think one or two days so keeps watching this guys and we will see you in the next tutorial goodbye